Hey folks, my name is Joe McNamara. I'm the marketing director for our risk and response line here at Task Us. And I am joined with our, our head of risk and response, Jeffrey Chug, who's Hi. here to... <laughs> hey, how you doing, Jeff? <laughs> I'm doing great, thanks, Joe. <laughs> Sounds like you're pretty excited to talk a little bit about healthcare fraud today. You know, for starters, Jeff, we're like, we're technically still in a pandemic, although it's been the better part of, you know, 18 months, you know, a, a year and a half. Um, clearly, a lot of things have changed, especially things that we kind of took for granted as being in person um, and where we are today as, you know, being able to work remotely, do a lot more things remotely based around uh, communications and, and connectivity uh, access. But what does that exactly point to when we start looking and breaking down from a health tech or a healthcare perspective? Yeah, well, I think, you know, uh, we are we are emerging, hopefully, uh, knock on wood, from this, you know, two years of pandemic life. In a lot of areas of the economy, life has shifted from in person to online. Now that we're shifting back, you know, there are parts that are kind of going back from digital back in person. People want to be back in person. They want to get out and, and see people and do things. Um, and so, you know, whereas before people would maybe order things online, uh, food or household items, maybe they want to actually go back and set foot in stores um, to get that kind of uh, social aspect that, you know, living life in person aspect back. One area where they may not be excited to go back in person is um, to go wait in a doctor's office, to go wait uh, in that waiting room. Uh, for the doctor who is kind of chronically waiting, like 45 minutes behind, uh, reading those, you know, magazines from 1998. I don't, I don't think people are really excited about uh, about that. And so, um, one area where we may see this this shift to digital services really stick is on things like telehealth, um, online prescription delivery, uh, things like that, where people have, we we found a way to do it online. We found a way to maintain the integrity of, um, you know, personal health records. Uh, we found a way to kind of connect doctors and patients. That that works, and and I think that may stick a little bit better than other parts of the economy.